Some months back, we got our hands on a review unit XS10 from Fujifilm and we fell in love with it. So much so that we bought one for the store two months later with the stock camera zoomable lens. But for the entire existence of the Hardware Sugar channel, all our content prior to this was shot on old iPhones and the latest Samsung Galaxy smartphones. Thus, if you are interested in becoming a content creator, you may want to stick around to look at some video comparisons to see if you can even tell which was taken with the Fujifilm mirrorless camera and which was taken with the Galaxy S21 Ultra. Today, Fuji sent us over the XF33M f1.4 for us to review, and the very first thing that caught my attention is that this product is proudly made in the Philippines our home country and it has been getting a lot of attention from Fujifilm lovers across the globe. I cannot remember the last electronics product we made here which was both mass produced and exported across the world. Let me know in the comment section below if you know of any other electronics proudly made in the Philippines as we would love to do a future documentary on them. Special thanks to Fujifilm Philippines for sending this over. <laughs> Pero saan ko kukuha ng legit windows? Daming options, daming prices. Akin ah, po. Buti na lang, may cdkeyoffers.com. Madali lang ang order. Search for the software you need. Add to cart. Daan ka sa payment options nila. Wala pang 5 minutes. Finish. May legit working CDK ka na para sa windows mo. Gamitin ng aming code para makakuha pa ng discounts. Kaya kung naghahanap ka ng legit, mura, at original software, Check out cdkeyoffers.com Back to the lens. This review will be taken from the lens of a YouTube tech reviewer because our channel is about providing tech-related content thus you will see the quality of the lens of how it does A rolls of us talking in front of the camera like this one and B rolls of products. Every footage you see here is shot with the XF33M except for the obvious short clips of me actually using the lens. These clips were shot with my trusty S21 Ultra. I'll leave a mark at the bottom to identify if the footage was not shot from the XF33M. We also test drove the XF33M at the launch of the largest IKEA on the planet. We will be coming out with a separate video on what PC gamers should get for their desk setup from there in the next week. In terms of design, the lens is lighter than most stock lenses and does not stray from the design aesthetics of other Fuji lenses. One very important thing to mention here is that it is weather resistant. Thus, if you ever catch yourself vlogging outside and getting hit with a shower all of a sudden, then don't worry about it. This is a fixed camera lens or a prime lens, thus there is no zoom in function, which to most photographers is usually a good thing because it means images are sharper than that of zoomable lenses. The science of why this is so can be explained better by a professional. I am simply a computer and furniture nerd who likes playing with a camera, which if you think about it, is what YouTubers are. Photography with the XF33M is not only crisp, but quick and reliable. I never need to worry about missing a certain shot, something which I occasionally felt with my stock camera lens. This comes in handy for action shots in which you have very little control over your subject. A lot of my favorite photos involve light on wood at various times of the day, and I am genuinely excited when I see a splash of light in the morning, mostly because I know the XF33M can capture it exactly the way I see it. I use the XF33M to film our review of the CU F57, which you can see a little over here. Overall, the lens did quite well in capturing a lot of detail while blurring out the rest of the settings so that all eyes would be on the product itself. And when I mean it focuses on the subject, it really makes the product we place in front of it pop. As an amateur photographer and videographer, this camera lens is great for people who like to take portraits or intimate shots because of the depth of field and bouquet it's able to accomplish. I did, however, have a relatively hard time using it at the IKEA launch as the lens just wasn't wide enough to capture most of what I needed to shoot. I even bumped into quite a few people trying to get the perfect shot. When I was successful to get enough space and frame a less busy shot, the image quality allowed colors around the immediate area to shine. I also took it to a clothing bazaar run by my childhood friend who runs a petite clothing shop. I'll leave a link to his store in the video description. I really like how when even if it is a busy area, when I find something that I want to focus on, the XF33M just locks it in as though it were some high-tech military system. I'm sure my Fujifilm XS10 helps it out as well. However, focusing with this lens over the zoomable stock lens, 
I got with is genuinely faster. I also took the time to use the lens as my main camera for video streaming. I was met with the awkward problem of it being too zoomed in on my face, even if the camera was really far back to begin with. This lens won't be my first choice for this purpose, especially since my desk is already pretty wide to begin with. Most other streamers will find difficulty compensating for this. If you are planning to start a YouTube channel, you can honestly get away with producing great content with only a mere cell phone camera. Here are some video comparisons between the XF33M lens and the S21 Ultra. You may notice that the footage with the S21 Ultra is actually slightly more stable. And that's because I use a DJI gimbal, which is a very inexpensive tool that greatly improves video quality. Honestly, with well-lit areas, it is sometimes difficult to tell which is which. It is, however, when the bouquet kicks in, which you can tell instantly that you're shooting with the XF33M lens. Retailing at 41,200 pesos in the Philippines and $800 in the States, this may seem like a large sum of money because it is. Nevertheless, if you are committed to buying a mirrorless camera, then there is no way around the big price tags. What you can focus on instead, though, is making sure you are spending the big bucks on hardware, which gives you the best value for the money that you're using. So if you are a similar content creator like me who does reviews on products or a professional photographer who likes taking portraits, you should really consider the XF33M as your first lens rather than make the mistake I did when I bought my Zoomable XF1855M. In conclusion, when we were researching what our first camera would be, I was usually met with recommendations for Sony, yet my photography friends were the ones who told me to seriously consider Fujifilm. While our skills are not yet on the professional level to ascertain which is the best camera and lens for value, it nevertheless passes the most basic test for me, which is that I really like what I shoot with this and I go to bed at night with the regret of not that I chose the Fujifilm ecosystem, but rather I might have chosen the wrong lens to go with it. Sometimes it is best not to know. In any case, stay safe everyone. We want to give an extremely special thanks to our top fans who helped make all of our work possible. ITX Addict, Rafael James, Ian Meru, Liam Magnae, Richard Onkinko, John Rubin Ochia, and Christian Espinosa. It's good seeing all of you so regularly during our streams, and again, thank you so much for the support.